Okay, Malaysia is actually so-called the developing country. And actually, we try to pick up the bad habit from Western. So our children are more Westernized. Now, today, they are talking about Big Mac, Pizza Hut, Kentucky. Okay, so you know, all this is high calorie. So this can cause obesity. And now, today, we are all in the pamper our child by giving them the iPad, iPhone. And what they do is they exercise their hand without exercise their body. So this all lead to obesity. Okay, and it's not surprise we are the so-called the number one obese in the Southeast Asia because actually based on the BMJ report, 49% of the female and 44% of the male in Malaysia are obese. You know, it's half of it. And we are actually more obese than Singapore. We know Malaysia always compete with Singapore. And now we beat them because we are, we are having more obesity. Okay. And we know obesity is not good because they are associated with many medical illness. For example, if you've got obesity, you are more prone to get hypertension, high cholesterol, diabetic. Okay. And as a result of these three, you're more prone to get ischemic heart disease, even heart failure. Okay. And on top of that, you also can more likelihood to run into stroke and cancer. So obese is not good. So we need to tackle it. How to tackle it? Okay. If you look at the not too far, you just look at the Singapore. Actually, the heart promotion board is doing a lot of things. They actually go down to the grassroots. They actually roll out the root show to educate the school-going children to tell them the worst about obesity. So they actually educate from young. So they tell them what is a healthy diet. So they show them the so-called the healthy diet pyramid. Okay, so the most important you have to take more vegetable, more fruits. Okay, less carbohydrate. Okay, less fat, and you have to exercise regularly. In fact, they are penalized the student if you are being obese. And now, today, so Malaysia also doing the same thing. Now we are penalized our policemen if they are obese. They are not supposed to go for promotion. Okay, so again. For the obesity, how we tackle it is very simple. We always talk about the lifestyle modification. So first, we have to eat healthily. We try to take a lot of green vegetables and fruits. We cut down the carbohydrate. We go for the limit. That's the diet. Okay. Now you go for the exercise. Mainly you have to exercise at least three to five times a week. Okay. If you're going for three times a week, forty-five minutes a, a day, and then if you go for the five times, it's thirty minutes each. That's the thing. Okay. It's very important for them to measure their weight at home. It's a simple thing. Okay. If you get a weighting scale, you have to set a target. Okay. We use the BMI. Okay. You know, given the height, you should have a so-called the ideal body weight. Our normal BMI is range between twenty to twenty-four. If you're more than twenty-four, you're being obese. Okay, so from your height, then you can calculate ideal weight. Then you weigh yourself. Okay, so by taking care of the diet and exercise, you expect to lose the weight until you reach the ideal body weight. So ideally, we can allow to lose weight around five hundred milligram a week. So that's two kilogram a month. If you lose more than two kilogram, means you're over aggressive. It's not good for your body as well. Okay, so that's the way we look at it. Of course, there are medication whereby we can help to control the body weight. Uh, those medication we only use it in the extreme case. Okay, the medication is being used by decrease the absorption of the nutrient, and it can cause some diarrhea. By doing that, you can actually lose some weight. But again, at the end of the day, I think it's、uh, being disciplined, and you have to stick to the strategy. Means you have to actually being disciplined. In terms of the diet, exercise, okay, and if need to, you probably have to go for the medication under the supervision of the doctor.